Welcome to the second problem in the sliding window problems of line 75. At this point, we have covered two thematic groups, arrays and hashes, as well as two pointer problems. Right now, in the current thematic group, this is the second problem in the sliding window problems that we're covering. There are around four problems in this uh, theme of line 75 questions. And we're going to solve this, the second problem, which is the longest substring without duplicates. Generally speaking, uh, in this problem, we're given a string, uh, you know, and we need to find the length of the longest substring we can find within that, which does not contain duplicate characters, basically. Substring is a contiguous sequence of characters within a string, basically. So uh, let me actually, uh, you know, explain what, what I mean by this. So we have ZXY and ZXYZ as an example here, as you can see in example one here on the screen right now, right? And within this example, you'll find uh, you'll find have uh, that we have a, 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 an input of zxy, zxy, and z, right? So this and output is three, which is basically the length of the longest substring, right? So uh, we have two sub three substrings supposedly here without duplicate protectors, which are zxy. The two zxy strings here, so we have two zxy's, and we have one substring with just z, right? So these are the three substrings we have, and they're substrings because at com when we combine them, they become this uh, value input to value here. But when when we keep them, uh, when we uh, find this unique substrings within them, which do not contain duplicate characters, we get zxy, zxy, and z, right? So among them, zxy and zxy, both are the longest substrings, and both are of three lengths, so that is why our output for this becomes three. So with that, I think, clarified, now we need to basically understand how do we solve this problem. Let me use this to drag this a little in a clear space so we can this clarity so we have this substring here potentially right so how do we go about this there's, there's a technique in and that that's what the thematic name for this thematic group comes on called sliding window basically so what it does is it has a certain capacity that we give him or length we give them right and that length does not change uh, uh, and I'm just not basing it off this problem right now so that length doesn't change and then we just drag this across like if the length of the sliding window is three and just like uh, you probably dealt with the uh, this situation on your ui of your smartphones or somewhere you just need to slide it over to the next portion supposedly i slide it over from a then another a uh, bca becomes the new sli sliding window where x is excluded similarly if i do it uh, remove b then CAB becomes the new sliding window and B is excluded, so on and so forth. So, how do we solve this problem? It's quite simply, simple actually. We have two pointers, which are the start and end of the sliding window. As you saw earlier, we had a sliding window, something like this, right? So, this area, this line here, is our starting pointer. This is our starting pointer. And the uh, start starting pointer, and this one here, one that's ending there, is our ending pointer here. This one, right? So this pointer is the ending pointer, and we basically just let uh, we know, uh, and that's how we're going to code this problem, is that the, the bit any uh, element between these two pointers is also part of this uh, sliding window problem. So again, it's just an extension of the sliding uh, two-pointer problems, but now we have an additional dimension that we need to consider in this particular problem. So uh, potentially what we'll be doing here, uh, and you know, let's uh, basically break this, the, 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 the logic of this problem down, we'll initialize two pointers, one at the start and what the end, one at the end, basically. And we'll keep a set to keep track of the characters in the current window. Right? So we expand the window by moving the end and adding new characters one by one by one to a set. Now that's an important uh, thing for you to understand here, right? 
let me use a different color to uh, uh, you know establish this so all of these problems would be dealt with in a set because a set does not accept duplicate problems that is the central aspect to this you of using a set here so it does not allow for duplicate values to exist within a set so which means that we can easily solve this problem using a set so with that out of the way uh, let's uh, see how this problem would potentially work and again we're going to we're going to be using a set to save these substrings so we start with the star uh, start pointer and the end pointer at a right just at a right which is both at this point right a is an individual and there's no duplicate characters right so what would happen is uh, the starting pointer word ending pointer would move one step to the right and include B as well. No duplicate uh, character again. So the ending pointer would move to the right again and include C. Still no duplicate character, right? And then the start uh, ending pointer would again move to the right and include another A. But now there's a duplicate character and set would uh, using a set for helps us identify that. So at that point, uh, the pointer at the start, the starting pointer, the pointer uh, at this point here, uh, let me point this out, the starting pointer here moves to the right and the ending pointer remains where it is. So the, now uh, we have the, uh, the, 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 uh, the substring starting from B to A. So now it's BCA, right? Now there's no duplicate uh, again here. So the uh, right pointer uh, or the ending pointer moves to the right again and uh, we check out the substring again. There's a duplicate pointer. And again, we're storing these, uh, all of these substrings here in the set, basically. That, that's what you need to remember, right? So now we have another duplicate uh, character. So the starting pointer again moves to the right and we exclude B. And now we have a new substring CAB, right? We see this again. So there's no duplicate character. So the ending pointer moves to the right again, right? Again, in this case, we uh, in the next view we find two C's. So the starting pointer moves to the right, and this C is excluded as well. Then we have another A, B, C, no duplicate characters. So we have uh, we and please pay attention at this point because this is going. Now we're finally moving uh, out of that particular routine of A, B, C, A, B, C, right? So our ending pointer moves to the right, and we have another B. So we have two B's now. So the starting pointer again moves to the right even though it doesn't remove the duplicate character, but that's the set pattern, how the sliding character is moving, right? So again, now it's BCB. Again, there's duplicate, uh, there is a duplicate uh, value here. So it again moves to the starting point, again moves to the right, and it precludes this B. Then we have C and B. Now there's no duplicate character, so it moves to the right again. There's a duplicate character. It uh, So the starting pointer moves to the right, removing C. It moves to the right again, removing B. And that is how our uh, algorithm stops functioning and that is how we identify our particular uh, substrings which are uh, which do not have any duplicate characters uh, and that is what set helps us to do basically and this is how the algorithm for sliding sliding windows would work we need to remember that this is uh, this problem has a time complexity of o of n as well as not just the time complexity but the memory complexity is also big o of n Right? So this problem helped, is basically pretty much near to the ideal time and memory complexity that we need. And that is, again, like memory comp complexity is that go, uh, that uh, is also dependent on the usage of sets, basically. So with that out of the way, let's uh, look into the problem and, you know, break down our approach to this problem before we start coding it out. So Generally speaking, there are five in important steps in this problem, and the f uh, those need to be considered basically. And that is basically the five steps are the code that we use to help us understand exactly the five uh, uh, major things that we need to do in this code. And based on that, basically, that, and this is basically our pseudo code, right? Um, this, based on this pseudo code, we can easily write down our code and break down the exact three different components that we need to code out in the problem. So again. We initialize two pointers, start and end, to tra traverse the string. Basically, that's uh, the first thing. Then we use a set to keep track of the characters in the current window. We expand the window by moving the end pointer and adding a new character character to the set if it hasn't been seen before. If a duplicate character is encountered, we move the start pointer until the duplicate is removed from the set. 
and they keep track of maximum length of a substring encountered during this process. So at the same time, we're making sure that we're keeping track of the longest uh, length of the substring that we ever have within the set. So with that out of the way, let's start coding our problem. You see on the screen right now, we have the first of our pseudocode there, which is initialize pointers and a set to track the characters, right? So we need to basically uh, uh, set up the set which tracks the characters. We need to set up uh, our pointers, uh, pointers, and we also need to basically have some uh, have a character record, uh, you know, uh, uh, record uh, our uh, you know our uh, uh, character that records our um, uh, our starting pointer and as well as the maximum length of the problem. So let's get that sorted out. We have initiated uh, 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 um, a set using the char set variable. We have initiated a maximum length variable, which try to keep a track of the maximum length of the substrings that we are leveraging. And we have initiated the pointer, uh, the starting pointer at this stage. Uh, and uh, you'll see how we handle the ending pointer next, but you know that's handled in a much more, uh, you know, effective manner further in the code. So the next aspect of our pseudocode is to traverse the string using the end pointer, basically, right? So here we're going to work with the end pointer. So for the end pointer, basically, uh, we're going to uh, create a for loop that deals uh, that creates uh, the end pointer and works with that's our iterable value within the for loop. So let's set that up. So our range is the length of the um, uh, of the string that we have, right? And the end pointer is going to traverse from the start pointer to the end pointer. If you if you would notice in our previous videos when we we're dealing with two pointers, you would have noticed that we explicitly had the end pointer at the end and the start pointer at the start. But here the start pointer is going to start from the same position as the start. As the end pointer is going to start from the same position as the end pointer, and this is move based on a certain predefined rule that we discussed, right? If there's no duplicate character, it moves to the right. It keeps on moving to the right until it finds the duplicate character. The moment it finds the duplicate character in the substring, the starting pointer moves to the right until the, there's no duplicate character in the string. That's basically how a sliding, uh, a sliding uh, window problem is going to work out. So now that we have defined uh, the for loop, we need to bring our pseudocode for the next aspect that we need to solve in this. Basically, which is that you know, the end character is already in the set. We move to the start to the right, uh, basically, and that that's the first problem we deal with in the for loop, right? So if the character at end is already in the set, which means that the character that our ending pointer is pointing towards is already in the set, then we move to the uh, move start to the right, which means there's a duplicate character, right? So based on that, let's uh, set up the code base uh, that code base up first. So you'll see here that we're using the dot remove method to remove the uh, starting pointer uh, from where it is right now, and then we'll add one to the starting pointer to let uh, le uh, let us know that you know uh, we we're removing the starting uh, the uh, the character at the starting pointer from the set, and then we're moving the starting pointer to the right. So we're removing the value that is already in the set, and then we're also removing uh, moving the pointer to the right. Basically, those are the two things we're doing. At the same time, now we need to focus on the next pseudocode, which is adding the new character to the set and updating the maximum length. So first we have, the first thing we do is remove the existing re repeatable character from the set and then moving the start pointer to the right. Next, we add the new character to the set and update the max length basically based on that. So 
let's set that up as well. We're going to be using the max uh, uh, function here, and you've noticed that you've been using this a lot. Basically, but it's used for quick comparisons. So we'll quickly compare the current value with the current max length value, and whatever is larger is saved as the new value of max length. Basically, so that's what we need to do. That's what we're trying to do using this mechanism here. Now we need to return uh, the max, uh, max length value back to the main function. And now we run this code and see if this works. There are three cases it needs to solve properly, and it has solved all three cases properly in this problem, which means we have solved this uh, problem, uh, uh, the problem of two sliding window problems, in blind 75 and with that we're going to wrap this video up before that if you got any value from this video please like and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for any for notifications for any new videos especially blind 75 videos that we're solving on a daily basis on our channel that we're going to wrap our video up and we'll see you on our next video thank you